Hi, I'm Katherine Mitchell for showing animals respect and kindness. The video you are watching was posted by a cockfighter. The cockfighter is upset because a fighting rooster he purchased from Kenzie Gamefowl Farm in Laurenburg, North Carolina is dead. How the fuck do you cram two adult birds in this fucking little ass box? Kenzie Gamefowl Farm had shoved a full-grown rooster into a tiny box along with a hen and then shipped the live animals to London, Kentucky via the U.S. Postal Service. It's not surprising that the rooster arrived dead. What's surprising is that the hen lived. The cockfighter is upset not because an animal is dead, but because he won't be able to breed the birds. If the rooster hadn't died in transit, his offspring would have been doomed to die in a fighting pit. The roosters would have had razor-sharp gaffs tied to their legs and would have been forced to fight another equally armed rooster. They would have cut, slashed, and stabbed each other until one of them was killed while their drunken, drug-addled owners bet on their suffering. Cockfighting is illegal everywhere in the United States by state and federal laws in all 50 states and the U.S. territories. Shipping roosters or any animals for fighting purposes is also illegal, but is still happening. Postal employees, including high-up decision-makers, know it is happening. Shark has provided the U.S. Postal Service with evidence, including this footage of Melinda Fairchild, the wife of convicted felon and rooster breeder Bobby Fairchild, shipping birds from the post office in Colgate, Oklahoma. The Fairchilds operate a massive rooster farm located in Cole County, Oklahoma. Here we have Nathan Jumper delivering roosters for illegal cockfights to the U.S. Post Office in Ripley, Mississippi. Nathan Jumper runs the Johnny Jumper Farm in Ripley, Mississippi. Here is a clip of fighting roosters being mailed from a post office in Huntsville, Missouri. Regardless, these supposed public servants continue to aid and abet the cockfighting mafia. Commercial carriers such as UPS and FedEx have already stopped the shipping of roosters for cockfighting. It is outrageous that the U.S. Post Office is keeping criminal cockfighters in business and to actually grow their criminal enterprises. Federal authorities should not just stop this illicit activity. They should hold those postal employees involved accountable and charge them criminally. If you care about animals, or the rule of law, or just common decency, contact the U.S. Postal Service and demand, in no uncertain terms, that the support of these animal-abusing criminals stop immediately. Please be professional, but let Postal Service employees know their organization exists to service law-abiding Americans, not to prop up drug-addicted, criminal animal abusers. I'm Katherine Mitchell for showing animals respect and kindness. And we are crushing cockfighting. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel to see more of our investigations and learn what you can do to help shark help animals. Consider sharing our videos so other people can help save lives. If you'd like to support Shark directly, you can follow the donation link in the description section of this video. If you'd like to gain access to exclusive content, consider sponsoring us on Patreon.